Tahan di mana? Hah? What's up, my fellow aliens in YouTube land? My name is Strax from the Uber Geeks, and today we shall be reviewing the Transformers 2007 movie Deluxe Class Autobot Long Arm. Here we are, there he is, packaging, and the figure. You'll probably be thinking right now, how did you manage to get the packaging, Strax? Well, I was very lucky because I went to my local charity shop. I was in town by myself and I saw this guy in the window of the British Heart Foundation. And I was like, well, it's 10 quid, I better grab it. Proof that it was 10 pounds. 10 pounds, right there. Reduced from 35 pounds. Crazy, huh? So, anyway, let's have a look at the box quickly. We have obviously Transformers logo up top with a big red Autobot symbol at the back. Five plus men mentally. That, that, that's not that's not me. <laughs> As seen in the Transformers video game. Nice. Um. Some nice imagery there of something Cybertron maybe I don't know I don't know what that is but we got his name his long arm he's an Autobot he's got his Autobot logo there character does not appear in all versions of video game hmm okay and there's him apparently this is very rare to find a picture of his robot mode instead of his CGI rendered face. <coughs> we have a picture of the figure instead, which is cool. Um, some more artwork at the back. Going to the side, he is a deluxe class. Got a nice molded in Autobot symbol. Going to the back, yes, he's from a movie level 3, long arm, Autobot, an Autobot 2, his core, helping others, puts a grin on long arm's face. Exclamation mark. There's that same image of long arm. There's him in his vehicle mode. Two in one says cannon fires missile. Hmm, yes. Then also look for RC Final Battle Jazz, who we've actually got. We have actually got Final Battle Jazz down here. This is Final Battle Jazz. We also have a Bumblebee. Payload and a Dreadwing. On this side, you've got that same artwork again. On the bottom, barcodes and collector's club stuff and a red lion in a yellow triangle. Random. And yes, 2007 official Hasbro stuff. Never been opened this. Well, until I opened it, obviously. But it wasn't opened when I got it. It was brand new. Everything was the same. Anyway, let's get back to this, shall we? So, the figure. Here is Autobot Longarm. And I think this is a very well done figure. For 2007, anyway. I, this, this is really good. So he rolls as rolling things should oh come back um, something else that I found really cool 
is that uh, this can actually move as well as the little hook at the end and also if you push that back this can also move up and down as long as you keep it in place but yeah so taking a look at very nice details silver headlights painted over some orange plastic orange translucent plastic there same on the other side just black for the front bumper and grille got some blue flames <laughs> I suppose they're flames uh, Orson's towing got a little Autobot logo there got a black painted line there wheels are not painted unfortunately but it's 2007 you know so got back here it's more black plastic for the back coming down the other side is identical to the opposite side coming around the top got more of that flame detail got some translucent orange again there but this time for the light bar and then you've got this thing as well which is just done in a white plastic <coughs> you've also got some silver is that silver or is it just grey? I can't really tell so there's the top there's the bottom you can kind of see where everything is and so let's get ready for transformation shall we let's so what you want to do first is you want to come to the sides here you want to actually no you want to start here you want to something something that's really cool on this is that if you just pull up one side they both come up because it's like a cog thing there that you can see but anyway you put those up and then you just pull those back push this down if this would actually focus push this down pull that up that hook will fit into that groove there and this is how it's actually packaged in the box it's packaged like this and you see I got very confused because I was like what is all this? <laughs> anyway I'm getting distracted I want to come to the sides and untap the doors just got focus got some hook tabs here that go into these two slots here Ooh, got some nice molded detail in there very nice and then now what you want to do is you want to come to the back you want to untab so it's just a bit of a t-tab there goes into that groove there so just bring those out then you want to come here to this black rectangular bit and that is a hinge so you want to fold it in at this first one here and then fold it in on that one and then bring this down same on the other side bring it around at this hinge and then the second hinge and then bring that black piece down as you can see on mine, this one's quite loose, unfortunately. Oh well, what are you going to do? Can't really do much. Um, now what are you going to do? You want to bring that light bar up again. You want to bring this whole section back, including this black bit. This black piece, ow, spiky. And you just want to 
bring that back and just rest it like that. Now you want to come to the underside, you want to flip out this section like that. You want to bring this down again. You want to bring this all the way around and just rest that light bar on top there. And that's that. Now, if this hasn't already untabbed, bring these pieces up. You swing these great sections to the side like that. And if it hasn't already, then you need to unpeg this little blue hand on that peg. It just goes into his palm. And you just leave that like that. So now, what you want to do, you want to come to the back here and just bring out <coughs> this a bit and then <coughs> sorry and untab got a little peg right there I'll go into that hole there another one there that goes into a hole in there now what you want to do is as you're unfolding that you need to unfold legs like that straighten out his leg you want to bring this section around and just leave that for a minute Inverse, same as the first, bring out this section as you bring this down, straighten out its leg, bring this round like that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's all good, it's fine. And you just leave that for a sec. <coughs> just to let you know, I did not have coronavirus in this video, the pandemic started way after this recording. Now, for his arms, you just want to bring out these doors completely. Just bring down these sections here. You need to focus the camera. This. You want to bring his arm down and then swing it down and bring it out on this hinge here. We do the same. We bring this down. Twist it, push it down like that, twist it around, and then bring it out on that joint there. Then you want to bring up his head like that, bring it back on that hinge. See what I did there? Just a little hinge in there. <coughs> and that is the upper body. Done. Now what you want to do, you want to come down to his feet, and there is a heel spur in here. You want to take out, and then you want to push out this all the way. Oh, so daisy. Should be fine. And uh, then other foot, bring out the heel spur. Fold this out. Bring down the heel spur a bit. And that's what they have. 
Hold on, and here's robot mode. As you can see, it is pretty interesting transformation. <coughs> um, but once you figure it out, it's all good. But there you go. There is one arm. And I think he looks pretty good. I think he came out really well. Considering all they had was the video game to help them. So coming to look at those little tiny little details. First of all look at his noggin head. Got a little red Autobot symbol there on the top on his head crest. Got some red eyes going on there. They are um yeah it's got some light piping in his head. So if we just bring it to the light. It's got a bit of light piping there. indentations on his head he's got like a weird ear things I don't know <laughs> I don't know he's got a lot of indentations in his head so that's pretty cool nicely painted as well do like that they even paint, painted under his eyebrows let's say and then down to his body you got this kind of section that looks kind of like this bit that was at the back of the truck then down to his abdomen kind of looks a bit like Age of Extinction Galvatron if you think about it, right there some more paint there as I've said it's a very nice looking figure got some orange painted there with his knees and then you got just the front of the truck as his feet which I thought looked kind of goofy but I kind of got to like them you know Going up the sides. As I said, that same thing that was on his chest on the back of the truck. It's just the sides of the truck on his shoulders. There's a top view, some nice molded detail in here. I do like that. Coming down the back, you just got the doors, he's got door wings door wings he's just got the whole top of the truck on his back alright I guess and down the back, I don't know what these things are um, I haven't really figured out what they do I like really really don't know <laughs> what they are, but they look cool nonetheless <laughs> some molded detail at the back here and under here You've got his huge gun as you now know was his uh, tow hook and his light bar just the whole back of the truck just transformed into a gun which I really this is I think this is my favorite part of the figure his gun how his gun works out with the transformation it's not it's not like it's got tabs or anything it just plugs onto the side of the truck or the top of the truck it's part of the truck and it's, it's really cool I like that about this figure 
but I really do. Right. Enough of that soppy stuff. Now, articulation. So, articulation wise for his head, he can do 4 through 60, but it's very stiff. Oh. He can look up, yeah, slightly. He can look down quite a lot. You can also use that joint if you want to. We can kind of look down even further. His arms can go out that far. They can also do a full 360, but because of the door wings here, uh, he can't really do that. You've also got that butterfly joint that you can use if you really want to. Uh, double jointed elbows, nothing at the bicep just due to the way he transforms, but he does have everything so stiff on this figure. Ugh. He does have double jointed elbows, but unfortunately. They don't work as well as they should. Because of all the junk that's on his shoulder. It kind of works, but not as well as a normal double jointed elbow would. I think he would have benefited, benefited more with a, a bicep swivel. Instead of a double jointed elbow, yeah, well, you've got his hand is on a ball joint, his fingers do not move, but he has only two fingers and a thumb. This one crazy character. Uh, oh, something that I missed out, he's got this weird joint. In his upper torso, I don't know what it is, and I don't want to do anything with it just in case it's something bad. But it's there if you need it. Please report back to me if it's something good and if it doesn't break your height, force it. Uh, legs, there's got nothing at the waist. Again, he's still got that upper torso bit, <clears throat> but his legs can go out that far. He can do the four splits almost. Yeah, he can do the four splits. His legs can go out that far and can go back that far. Legs, his knees, sorry. He can bend that far. That's <coughs> over 90 degrees of knee bendage, way over, because if that's 90 degrees, that's like way over. It's almost 180. Yes. Um, yeah, it's got this joint, that's ankle. That you can use if you want. There's <clears throat> he does not have any ankle tilted. He's got that that ankle tiltage backwards and forwards, but no ankle tiltage left and right. Unfortunately, uh, the heel spurs can move, and so can the toes. To however you wish. So there you go. As I've said, this is super loose. It's ridiculous how loose this is. Uh, and this arm's kind of loose as well. Just his whole left side's pretty loose. He can hold up his gun 
that high. He can hold up his gun higher than that and higher than that, but he just can't support it like that sideways. <coughs> he just can't support it like that, which is you know, a bummer. But eh. oh well, not a big issue. So, there you have it. I think this is a great figure. If you if you want to find a good figure, an oldish figure, but a good figure, then go for this one. Because I think this is probably the best 2007 Transformers figure you will ever get. This is, I think this is probably my favourite figure. One of my favourite figures. <coughs> I don't know what to say. Um, this what went on sale on eBay at a point. Uh, it was like thirty-five pounds. The person was selling it for. Obviously, they didn't have much luck, and they just gave it to a charity shop uh, to be left there to reduce in price and BAM I'm in town I grab it I had a great day basically but yeah it's it's a great figure if you if you can go pick one up if you if you're lucky like me you might find one in your local charity shop these guys are very rare um, but it, what makes this figure even more rare is that, like, it came with its packaging. It hadn't even been opened. It was just. It was like it was just bought and then sold. And it was bought and then a couple of years later, just put on eBay to sell. You know. Probably it was probably bought, put in a glass case, and then sold because they didn't want it anymore. So yeah, because this this thing hadn't been opened when I first bought it. It wasn't opened at all. All the ties were still around the figure. Still came with its instructions, all folded up nicely. But there you have it, the Transformers 2007 movie, Deluxe Class, also got Long Arm. I have been Strax, from the Uber Geeks, and this is me saying, remember, see the geeky side of things. I'll see you next time for another Transformers review. Goodbye.